Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a sample class to to um, interface with um, Google's hidden weather API. Um, after a little bit of searching on the internet, I noticed that Google has a hidden API um, for accessing, you know, weather forecasts. So this is basically what it looks like. Let me show you. As you can see, it's just a well-formatted XML. It contains weather data about um, a given location, in this case, Mountain View. But we can change that, and it would give us um, the resulting weather data, uh, respectively. So what I plan to do is use this um, API to create a short, a, sh a small um, Python script to pretty much handle the transaction which is going to make it easier to develop applications on top of that so we're going to be creating a class a weather class which will allow us to access Google's weather API so let's start off by importing some stuff you might need um, one is URL lib2 um, which is going to allow us to access the, the internet and I gave it an alias of net Basically, it's the same as saying net equals URL to it makes it easier for me to type Anyway, then we're gonna create our class. We're gonna call it I guess weather It's gonna have one constructor function and if you don't know what a constructor function is It's basically a function that is called Automatically when you instantiate a class when you create an object of the class so basically it goes you put def define as with any other function and then um, double underscore and then init and then the first argument in the class is always self reference it and basically what self is is basically it's referencing itself when um, you put self so anyway I'll, I'll explain it later um, and we're gonna have a second argument which is gonna be location location is gonna be the location um, of, the, of the weather data we want to get so um, and then we're going to have one parameter here um, one URL we're going to insert our URL rather um, here so this is the weather um, Google's weather API URL and if you look at this this is the, um, the actual query that resulted in um, the XML crap that it gave us right here. So what we want to do is allow the user to input, um, allow the user to input their own location here, and then uh, we would parse the XML and give them relevant weather data. So, so basically, we're just going to leave a blank right there, and then we're going to have. Okay, so location. Now, as soon as the function, uh, the class is uh, called, the init function runs. And what I want to do in the init function is, first of all, set the location. So the user sets the location, and we'll, we'll, what are we going to do with the location? We're going to combine it with a, the API URL here. So let's say if I entered something like w equals weather. Um, 75228 which is my zip code it would automatically insert 75228 right there so in order to do that we would say API equals API plus um, location and then then what we're going to do is we're going to download the XML raw XML file from the internet and this is where net comes in and we're just going to say um, let's create a parameter for it too. Um, w data standing for weather data equals a none. You can set it for none now. And when you, oh shoot, I forgot. When you reference parameters, functions, or anything else in a class within itself, you have to add the self dot ap uh, self dot to to it. And we're not going to put self dot here because 
the location parameter is part of the argument for the function. So there's no need to put a self here. But we do need a self here and here because API is defined in the class elsewhere. So if you want to access this um, this uh, URL, I mean this parameter or variable, we're going to have to call put a self dot in front of it. Um, anyway, um, what's next? We're gonna we're gonna say self dot w data equals net dot URL open. And remember, we're just gonna put plug in self dot API self self dot API and then we're just going to chain it and say read it so after you download the raw data read it and then store it in this variable right here or property in, in this case of the class when you're when you're in a class in most programming languages variables are called properties and functions are called methods so in this case this is the constructor method <coughs> um, anyway um, now we have defined our constructor function now what we want to do is make sure that the data we get back is properly formatted and it's working okay so we're just going to have we're just going to create a small function to show us that xml data we're going to say show xml self so we're not going to put any parameters even if we don't have any parameters in this function we still have to put self or else python will go crazy um, show xml and then say print um, self dot w remember self we're going to reference w data after it downloads this file we're going to call this function just to show us the xml file so we're just going to say self dot w data and that should be it <coughs> and that's our class pretty much we're done with it just to see what it looks like we already I already created uh, an object for it with location set already so um, when I run the script it's gonna print me uh, a large XML file if everything goes correctly um, yeah I guess that's it Seven five two two eight, and then oh, we have to. We're not. We're gonna have to call this too. So we're gonna say w dot show xml, and there's no parameters. Save and run, and there you go. Let's see it. Boom. And as you can see, it worked correctly, and it. It gave us a crap load of data we could use. Um, it ranges anything from humidity to five day forecast to um, weather conditions, temperature, um, historical data. There's a lot of information we could gain from this, and you can do a lot with this. But on the next tutorial, we're going to continue working with this class and add some more functions to it. And we're gonna start parsing the XML and get the data what we get uh, specific data what um, from the XML we download. And thank you for watching.